Hello, this is the week two Excel project. So the first thing I want to do is to format the title with title cell style. So I'm going to select the title. Then I am going to go into the style area. Since it's not here, I'm going to go to more. I clicked on more and then title is right here. So that formatted the title. Okay, now we we want to highlight the column headers. I ha highlight the column headers, and then I want to get the heading three cell style, which will be, I'm going to click here again, so it'll be heading he three cell style. There it is. Okay, now I am wanting to merge and center the uh, A1 across A through F. So I am going to center the title between A and F. Then I am going to look up here and click on Merge and Center. There it is in the middle. Now on the center, I align the column header in the A3 through F, F3. So I'm going to highlight that. And I want to do what again? I want to the center align. So I am looking for center align. That's middle align, center align. And they are in the center. Okay, now we're supposed to modify the column width as uh, column A is 225 and column D to. Okay, now I'm going to uh, modify the column widths. So I'm going to go between A and B to modify column A. Click and hold, and then the width will show up. It says what it's 8.57 now, so I'm going to move it out to 25. All right, as close to it as we can get it. And then uh, I am going to modify D to 45. So column D, I'm between D and E again. Click and hold. I'm going to make that 45. There we go. Okay, so once you put once you put the information you want from the uh, web page, then go back to your uh, what you like and uh, put that information on your Excel. Now we want to create the hyperlink here. So highlight the space, go into Insert, click on Hyperlink. Okay, and up on top, you put in the uh, text to display, so it, however you want to do this, but I would say best by computer. And then down here, you're going to put the actual address in. So now you go back to your site, copy the site, I'm doing a control C, go back to your Excel, come down here, then do a control V or a paste. Make sure it's the uh, right address and say OK. So now you got your uh, hyperlink there. And let's see if it works. I'm going to click on it. And it goes to the site that you like. As stated in step six, let's say if like column C was for step nine, the estimated tax and cell E11. Let's click in there. We want to get a reference to the subtotal in cell E10. So all formulas, if there's more than one uh, number or variable, always begins with an equal sign. So type equal. Then click on the subtotal right above it. And then we want to multiply. And multiply in uh, comp computer math is an asterisk times uh, 6% which is 0 0.06, and then hit Enter. To work on the estimated shipping, we need to have this in E12. We're going to be introduced to the count A function, which is going to count uh, how many items are actually in, in that uh, column, which are items. Okay, so first we're going to go to the estimated shipping box. And let me introduce you something new here. If you click on function, 
then you will get all the different functions that are available to you, even including count. So let's just type in here count A and say go. And then there is the count A. I'm going to say OK. So bottom line, we just need one value to work on this. OK, so we know where all the items are. So we basically we highlight all the items that is going to be ordered. So I'm going to click on the first one, go down to the last item. And, and then we're done with that portion. OK, so there's six items, but the cost uh, per item to be shipped is ten dollars so we're going to multiply this again by ten and again multiply is the asterisk and then we're going to add in ten so it becomes sixty dollars so now we're going to work on the total cost so the total cost would be what the subtotal the estimated tax the estimated sh shipping so Let's do this a little bit differently this time. I'm going to click in that box. I'm going to say equal. Another function we haven't used yet is the sum. So I'm going to say SUM, open parentheses, and I'm going to go from the very first one, click and hold, and drag it down to the last one that we're going to enter, and then say enter. And that's our total. Step 12 says to write a line uh, a10 through A13, so I'm going to go to A10, click and hold, and go down to A13, and we need to write a line, so we need to come up here and find write a line. That's bottom line. There's a line right, so I'm going to click on that, and there it is. Step 13 says to save and close the file. Remember to have uh, saved the file name correctly in the very beginning, and then exit Excel, then submit the file as directed. And remember to keep a copy for your own records. Okay? Thank you.